growing in the search for missing 21 year old Texas A&M Corpus Christi student Caleb Harris. Today volunteers from the Community Island University and CCPD cadet class work together to search for any evidence. Yeah, the search taking place on Ennis Joslin Road near the cottage apartments where Caleb was last seen. It's also where we find our Josh Maxwell, who's been following the search party since early this morning. Josh, what have you found out so far? Rudy, Leslie, I've been on and off the scene since nine in the morning and very much still an active scene. In fact, I want to show you just how far these efforts are going. If you look over here and you see those splotches of orange in the background, those are actually investigators who brought dogs to see if they could get any traces of Caleb's whereabouts. Now, I didn't just speak with lawmen today. I also spoke with close friends of Caleb who say that despite all of this, all they want is for their friend to be found and to come home. He means a lot to a lot of people. Ellie Carlisle is the childhood friend of missing Tam UCC student Caleb Harris, the two going as far back as middle school. She, along with other volunteers, were part of a search party to try and find answers regarding Caleb's disappearance. It was important to a lot of people, and I think that was very evident for how many people have tried to share and get the word out and how many people came to help out today to try to look for him. Search efforts requiring heavy manpower, something our, senior CCPD our officer our Tony Contreras says required cadets. help from cadets. We are in the fields uh, doing a grid search. Um, you know, they're, they're there in the fields and in the ditches searching for anything. When it comes to missing persons cases of this scale, Contreras says that he hasn't seen anything like it. Not to my knowledge, not not like this. So we, we have not found any, any clues, no new evidence, uh, nothing like that. Tam UCC student Logan Johnson is close friends with Caleb's roommate. He jumped at the chance to lend a helping hand. As soon as I found out about it, I got all my work out of the way and set aside basically all of yesterday to spread the word as much as I can in this basically entire zip code. According to San Antonio private investigator Charlie Parker, who has been advising Caleb's father during this time, getting ahead of a case like this can help save time. Ask him to call the phone suppliers, or the people that had it, his son's phone company, and since it was in his name, was able to get the last phone calls that the son made on that phone. A community mobilized for a father who just wants his son to come home. Anything and everything we can look at, find, um, that's what we're trying to do. Now, as of news time, we did reach back out to CCPD, who told me that there are no new updates in this case. Around 2 o'clock, they did, they did diverge their, their, their dive and rescue team in order to help spearhead more efforts to help find Caleb's whereabouts. They told me that they do this in order to help get into places that they normally can't get on foot. And of course, if anybody has any any know to whereabouts of Caleb's, of where Caleb may be, they are encouraged to call CCPD and look for this story on our website at kiitv.com.